Hey guys, this is Gamer Freak 10001 with another, uh, with another LP. Now, sorry for me holding this off so long. It's just, um, I, I'm doing two co op LPs, and I've been getting caught with the LP, and my friend keeps coming over, and I keep having to, and I keep working on the co op LP, and, and I haven't had that much time to do in uh, three. The Mega Man 3, it was released for the NES, it's one of probably one of the best uh, Mega Man games. Definitely one of the easiest as well. Even though I've died on it, it is one of the easiest. Once you get to 4, you start getting that difficulty curve. And all the other basic stuff. In case you're wondering, I got Mega Man 9. Mega Man 9, I will be doing an LP of that game. But... As if, I, if if I get the anniversary collection, I will just LP on four, five, and six. On I will LP uh, eight, eight on anniversary, and then I will LP. And once I LP eight on anniversary, I will do nine, and then I will do ten. Now nine is difficult. Nine is probably one of the most difficult Mega Man games. And when I was playing the boss, I had no idea that you had to use that the fish had three forms. I thought the fish only had one form. Which is kind of surprising to find out that that fish had more than one form in it. Just in case you guys know, um, that fish is uh, an annoying boss. I had zero lives when I got to it because I, I think I wasted three of my lives on the flower mini boss. Now, the flower mini boss in that game is very annoying. It's so random, it's like, it's like there's a big thing of the flower, a big, a big chain of flowers that can take damage, and, and a bunch of other stuff. I think on superhero mode, there's even more of those. Which I played superhero mode, and it doesn't seem too much harder, just more enemies. Even though the game already is hard, I don't even think it needs a hard difficulty. Now, Mega Man 10 has the, uh, hard and the, has the easy, hard, and normal. Normal, hard, easy, normal, and hard mode. What sucks about hard mode is that they don't record your thing in the rankings if you're playing on hard mode. Now, I would try to get Mr. Perfect, but I'm not that good. That I can literally be Mega Man 9 or 10 without taking a hit. That's very hard. It's very difficult to do. And you practically have to master every single part of the level, master the boss's patterns, and all that other stuff. Now, as you can see, they tried to make Mega Man look like he was turning up, turning up around and around, but all it is is making him look like he was, he's turning, um, he's going back and forth. Here we have the easiest robot master ever. Top Man. You used to think he was doing all around, and Top Man is actually easy. Why am I shooting in the opposite direction? Jump over him, Mega Man. Don't you understand what jump over means? Apparently not. Apparently Mega Man's being stupid today. Now as I said, check out the Pikachu71's channel. And Green Yoshi Pika Girl. Even though our new interest is the stupid Nile Pony stuff. She's always getting like new interests like every Every three or four days, she'll get a new interest. And we got Top Spin, which is a not very useful weapon in this game. It's a very bad weapon, in my opinion, mainly because it doesn't do that much damage, and it and you have to hit 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 it to kill it. Now why I'm starting with Needle Now why I'm doing Needle Man? Yeah, pretty obvious. Rush Jet. Now Rush Jet is in, is um, the Rush Jet in three is the best. And after that, they have the crappy Rush Jet that doesn't do anything. They have the crappy Rush Jet that doesn't do anything at all. And with that crappy Rush Jet. You can only go four until you hit a tub. It's a really annoying and 
And if you want to uh, do something like going to pass the part, you actually have to drive it past it. And in Mega Man 3, you could just move around it or do other stuff. And apparently, I'm doing all right at Needleman's level. Now, Campos Poe is doing a playthrough of this game. Well, I think he finished it, or is he still doing it? I don't know. Now, Pikachu Pikachu 71 has Super Brawl. She she would love to battle with she would, she loves to battle with you. And she would and she loves to talk to you as well, if you want to talk to her. And we get and we get E Tank. Mega Man, get E Tank. Me want E Tank. Now as you can see this game is a very easy game. Oh and look. Now Mega Man. Now it was sad the only man the only Mega Man game besides nine to have a hard hard mode was two. Well that actually not even two had that. Now we're probably going to die on Needle Man. And here's a Needle Man. He's blue and he's back with the bad goods. A knitter with a vengeance. I don't know what I'm saying. It's a knitting. It's a seller with a vengeance. Where did I get that? Now, as you can see, Needle Man is a very easy boss. Very predictable in his attacks. Now, the Mega Man bosses, all of them do it in a certain order. Or if they do do anything, they do the same thing twice. And look, and I'm using Knee Tank on Needle Man. Yay for me. Hey, I'm good now. And I die. We're going to save our E-Tank. We're going to try to fight Needle Man without his weakness. Which I have never which I haven't done very many times. First time I played the game I used save states. Because I had not I had none and none and well, what, how I got into it was with um, a friend about three years ago who told me about it, and, and ever since then I've been into it, and I've been a huge fan. And now I use Toss Man, Toss Man against Needle Man, not a good idea. Because he does insane contact damage. I don't know why, but go to McDonald's.com. I have no idea why I said that. And we die, which means we get a game over. I don't know what to say right now. I'm just gonna start talking about um, Mega Man. Uh, Mega Man 9 is the hardest game mainly because it's got harder wild bosses for one thing. And it literally took me like five tries to get through the first wily stage of the game. Five continues to get the first wild stage. And actually about 50, about 20. 15 of those were fake. Trying to figure out how to get pe how to get past the concrete shot section, which which is a very difficult, which is not very hard to get through apparently. Because it's doing it wrong. And here's Proto Man. This Proto Man isn't evil. He's not trying to hurt you. He's actual Proto Man. The one that saves you in the, in the, in the end. 
Which I shouldn't be giving away the ending before we even get to the end of this LP. Now, uh, I'm putting up part, I'm going to be putting up part four of the co-op OP and this one as well. And in case you didn't know, I'm going on vacation for, um, like four days, so I won't be putting videos up. And then, um, I will not be putting videos up coming Monday, because it's school. Once school comes around, and once I get... Once I get into high school and I start getting up, I will do videos after school, or at least try to do videos after school. That way, I'll, that way I can at least get videos in, instead of doing videos every single weekend. Because, I hate school, but, but I have to go to get an education, like they said, you can go to, I believe that you can go without an education, you should be able to go to high college without an education, or get a high quality job. If you think that people with high, with high educations should not get, or people with low education should get jobs, say ah. Well, I'm sorry, but, I'm sorry, you guys can't say ah, oh, because this is YouTube, so you can't speak, but you can speak through the comments. Just tell me what you think, uh, tell me what you think of this video. Is it good? Is it bad? Is it okay? Now, my camera quality, I will block, I will block, um, comments about that, unless you say, unless you say something like, like, you should get a certain camera or something, not like, what I mean is like, your camera sucks, why don't you, why don't you go get yourself a new one? And here we have Magnet Man, who's ridiculously easy. He fires his magnets, except the Magnet Man 3, except the Magnet Man 3, 2 GB, they're a lot bigger. In case you're wondering, once we get to the GB Mega Man series, we will see Magnet Man in the game that he shouldn't be in. Such as, um, such as Magnet Man being in 2. Now, once you beat the, uh, Wily Capsules, no, I mean, once you beat, uh, once you beat, uh, Wily, once you beat, uh, the first four bosses, You'll be taken to these in the next four stages, which are four of the Robot Masters from Mega Man 3. Apparently I can't do it. Apparently it's either easier or harder. It's either easier or harder. Depending if you're someone who plays the Mega Man GB series, which I'm really not someone who constantly plays the Mega Man GB series. Even though I do really like it and I do think it's a good game series, I don't really, I don't really play very much. Now I might be doing a Mario Kart Wii playthrough. I'm not sure. I might, or I might be doing videos of like online races and stuff. Not sure, but I'm um, gonna keep it. Practice might be the same. That's it. Now Mario Kart Wii, um, if I do that, I will be doing a playthrough on, on 150 cc, which is uh, carts and bikes, because I enjoy carts and bikes. I enjoy using bikes as well. Now I've had a history of sucking at Mario Kart. I first played Mario Kart 64 when I was like seven. I was good at it, but I wasn't very good at it. Run away from the monkey. The monkey won't stop following us, or the monkey won't stop stalking me. The monkeys in Mega Man and Mega Man, Man, Man games are annoying. I don't think they appear in any, in any other games after 2 or 3. I think after 3 they were just abandoned and they're not in any other games anymore. Now I do not think about Mega Man 10 even though I haven't played Mega Man 10. And I haven't played Mega Man 10, I have watched playthroughs of it so I do know, I do know a few, I do know things about it. 
Such as there's a clone, there's a clone Wily, which I always thought was kind of cool. Got a clone Wily. What I heard is that in Mega Man Zero Four, there's Wily still alive, but he's a robot. Is that true? I'm gonna go down this way, now because there's health, and I died, which means we get full health anyways. Now those enemies you see are called bulldozer mets, or metals, if, if you want to call them by a specific name. In, Me in, in the Mega Man show, there's um, one of those uh, mets that is helping them. And that one is Eddie. Except they make him look like a Met in the TV show. Even though in early Eddie's actually a other thing. This is the annoying Proto Man room. It is possible to toss his back here. And apparently Proto Man is actually the easiest boss this entire game. As he actually has no health bar. If I make a hack of this game, I'm definitely going to make Proto Man be a boss. If I make Mega Man, Proto Man's Red or something. The side under him. And we're going to use Magnet Missile. Keep Magnet hard, man. There we go. And we beat Hard Man. Sixteen. Oh, I got leave plan for seventeen minutes and defeated three robot masters. And here we go. We get the Hard Knuckle. The hard knuckle is a good weapon, it's just that it's slow and it take and doesn't take that much damage to the boss. And to the next robot master we are fighting is Shadow Man. Here we go. Put down. My friend made up a joke called jump, slip, jump, jump, slide, slide, fail, fail. Which if I'm correct, I think that's Brental Floss. As you can know, if if you're a Brental Floss fan, Brental Floss fan, and you want to talk about his songs, just go to my friend Lee Hey Wen. He is obsessed with Brental Floss, and so if you are too. Or if you're obsessed with Drain, Dwayne and Brando. Which I don't care. Which I don't care. Which I don't care. I don't care. I think Proto Man just got faster. This is Shadow Man stage, which is the sewer factory, is what it looks like. With weird lava looking thing. With weird lava looking goo. Now that you think. Now that I, now that I think of it, I think it is lava. About my 72 subscribers, thank you all who have subscribed to me. And don't care about how my videos look. I know, and I, because I know they're crappy. And I will be getting a better video camera, but not anytime soon. And we're about to go into the dark again. I'm afraid of the dark. I don't want to go to the dark. I want our stars in the dark. Now, literally, in the Mega Man editor, I can put those in every single level. Shadow Man, whichever one I want to. This is my trick for killing these. My trick for killing these is just keep jumping. There's a trick here. If you jump over in the same screen, the next one will come. But it will not kill you. You could do it the hard way, which is jump down there and try and dodge it before it hits you. And then fall off the platform and get pissed out of the game because you can't pass that one part of the stage. 
Now they are killed in one day with the Shadow Blade. So if you have the Shadow Blade, I would recommend using it there. Because it makes it a whole lot easier. And I'm going to make this a challenge. Before I die, I want to see how, how much health I can get away from Shadow Man with the Buster. And we got. And we got a quarter of self. And bring out Top Spin. Here we go. Fight you. And there's how you beat. Shadow Man without with only taking a few hits and not losing all your energy. Truth is actually if you hit a boss you tend to use more energy than you would without without hitting the boss. If you try to not hit the boss, it'll still take the same amount of damage, but you'll still be able to and you'll still have a lot of a health left. And here we go, we are on Snake Man. Because I just feel like fighting him. Don't know why. The recommended boss order in this is starting with Magma Man. If you want to start with Magma Man, but I decide not to. I never start with Magma Man when I play this game. Just don't know why. I just, don't, I just think Magma Man is easy. And here we have Jumping Sparks. Apparently we're throwing the cheesy version of the Shadow Blade. And I didn't even know that thing was there. And apparently I can't find out where crap is. Here we have the Snake Mini Boss. Which it appears in more names, but it only appears in one. Which is Link of Man 3. That's because Mario Man 3 is the only one with a snake in it. In Mega Man 10, there's this boss that takes it. You fight nine of, the, nine of the robot masters from various games. I think one from every single game. I'm correct. It just picks one, and you get one from every single game that you have to fight. And here's what we call using the Shadow Blade. I'm gonna throw it up. Those enemies with the little broom thing are annoying because they, what they do is they use that to bounce higher and then get in your way. Especially sucks if you're playing on um, high jump mode, which I have. I played on high jump with high jump. And what I have to say is that with high jump, the game is a whole lot easier. It's way too easy, actually playing on high jump mode because high jump mode is like cheating because you can jump higher, you can fall into pits, you can jump out of them. It's also how you turn on the music of any stage. Now, about the Mega Man 9, um, I have Splash Blue scene stuck in my head as I sat around and played it all day apparently because I wanted to and I just felt like it. Here we have, we have, not, I don't, we have, I don't even care, I don't know what to say. We're climbing up ladders. Apparently here's another time I'm trying to remember a few this minute. Mega Man 9 does a very good job of making it look like Mega Man is actually spinning, is actually spinning up and, uh, is uh, turning on, going upside down on the mat, on the bl uh, things in that in Tornado Man stage. Because you can actually see the bottom of his feet. I'm not sure if they're going to make a Mega Man 11. They might be making a Mega Man Anniversary Collection next year since it's, since it's Mega Man, Mega Man's 25th anniversary. They did bring Mega Man's 15th anniversary. Last time I checked, it was Ring. 
Mega Man's 15th anniversary. Here we go. Chat Snake Man. And we got it. Well, we're at the 24 minute mark, and we're probably gonna have this entire game done by then. There we go, shoot, shoot, shoot. Okay, I'm trying not to use the. I'm still not gonna have to dodge Snake Man. The Snake Man is actually impossible to dodge. And his hit. His contact damage is insane. Literally, one hit takes away like a quarter of health. And I'm not going to use any tank until I get low health. Which could be soon. Such as right now. Because I suck at fighting Snake Man. Look at it, look. I'm on, I'm almost half my health is gone. Beat him, Mega Man. You gotta pull through, you gotta pull through. And he pulled through, and apparently Mega Man... Uh, apparently Snake Man gave Mega Man a little boost. When he exploded over Mega Man, therefore giving him the ability to thrust up. Mega Man got a port thrust. I got the Surge Snake, which is a very useful weapon. Especially against Gemini Man. If you're trying to fight the final boss the second way. And we're going to Tempego Man again. So this time we're armed with the all powerful Shadow Blade. Which reminds me of the Mega Man 4 where like, the Mega Buster was brand new. Oh, I, the, I couldn't. The all new Rock Buster. Didn't he already have the Mega Buster? You could just charge it. That's the only difference. It makes kind of a rainbow charge. And there we go. This thing's uh, surprisingly low health. And the Mosquito. Mosquitoes are not very annoying in this game because they don't do much and they just jump. The stage they're annoying in is Gemini Man stage. Mainly because they either go over a pit, you're over a pit, and there's a bunch of these, and you're trying to jump from each, from, from that, each one to each one, and you don't know what to do. But apparently, that's not. And then you get there, and then you get hit by one, and then you're dead. I'm thinking about making the setup in Minecraft a lot better than this one. Or a lot worse, depending on how we do. Which will probably get worse, so... When we do the video, no commenting saying we suck at level design or something. No, we suck at level design. So we, we don't need your... We don't need you to tell us that we suck at level design. And also, crap, the first comment. If you do that first comment crap, I'm going to block I'm going to block your I'm going to delete your comment. Or I will choose to block you, depending on what I feel. Most of the time I'm nice and I don't and I don't feel like blocking people. So you don't have to worry about that. Apparently, this is Neil Man. Neil Man is a bastard. 
And apparently it's already 239 here. Then we got Spark Shock and nothing else. Which Spark Shock isn't useful because we've already beaten the boss that's weak in Spark Shock. And here we have Gemini Man. I remember the parental boss and it's like why they Gemini Man? So why is it Gem why is it Gemini? Well they thought Capricorn Man sounded gay. And speaking of that, the reason why some stuff like Beyblade is so stupid is because they name everything in Beyblade after horoscope symbols. Leo and all this other stuff. Like really Leo really Spark Shock's only useful if you want to do speed run. And we have one line. Apparently I can try to do the glitch to go past part of that. If I high jump it'd be easy, but I don't. There we go. Apparently I didn't do it right. And here's part of it. Oh, it doesn't blow up the inside. If you're first time players, you will think Proto Man is evil. Really, he's not. And let's say you want to say, I have two one ups. I gained, gained two one ups. Considering my friend in the LP, he gained about seven lives. Apparently, I need this Mr. Rush coil here to help me destroy him. And here we go, we're going to use Rush coil again. Especially to shoot these here. So I think the rush coil on Mega Man 9 is uh, too easy to get past. Makes it too easy to do everything in the game. If Capcom was watching this, which would be surprised if they were, they could remove the dynamic rush coil jump so high. I'm actually in favor of the Golden Eye. Okay, I'm not going to go for another time. No, we don't. I was thinking we just need to point or something and it's failing on that one part. And then you guys are going to get mad at me because it took so long. Jump up and go up here. And there's more of the chaos with these fish. With these eggs. Or whatever they are. Since apparently robots can lay eggs. And there we go. We're going to get past this with a bunch of these things trying to kill me. Now. I've played Mario Kart Wii so far, and it's a pretty good game. And next, I'm probably the next game on my list is probably Super Smash Bros. Brawl. Super Smash Bros. Brawl, the next game on my list is probably Super Smash Bros. Brawl. Mainly because it's a cool game and it's fun to play. I played the Malay version when I was like 7. When I played the Malay version, I played as Mewtwo the entire time. As I just need to know. As you know, Mewtwo is my favorite Pokemon. And he always will be. Regardless of what I need to say. 
And we are going to use Rush Marine. And I feel like cheating. Go! Rush Marine. My friend wanted to see someone who, could, who had to use the Rush Marine to beat Dive Man. The beat Dive Man with the Rush Marine. Which I can't. I'm not sure if that's even possible. I'm not sure if that's even possible to me and with the Rush Marine. It probably is, no one can try it is, just no one's ever tried. And we have two many tanks. Try to use one of these before we get to the boss. Or die. Which I think Mega Man picked dying. chose to die because he was tired of his life and he doesn't want to go fight Dr. Wowie. My friend says in Mega Man 9 is a Dr. Wowie. Is that true by the way? If any of you know, would you please tell me if it's true or not? Dr. Wowie is taking over the world. Crackhead is taking over the world. And I died again. Apparently we're going to waste all our lives on this one section. That I hate the most out of all Mega Man games is Gemini Man. This stage is hard. This stage is kind of hard actually. Because of the platforms. Now, I am playing this on an emulator because I don't have the Wii. I could have gotten it on the Wii, but I was so um, obsessed in getting Mega Man uh, 9 that I didn't even think about anything else. And Mega Man 9 is, has been a good game so far. And the thing that sucks is that once I get the Wiley, I'm going to have to non-stop record the videos because you cannot save, apparently. You can save, but you can't save like after you beat Wiley 1 or Wiley 2. You can save before you beat Wiley 1 or Wiley 2. And basically every single time you turn the game off or load the game, you have to go back to the go back to Wiley 1 again. And if you suck at finding the flower mini boss, that's a problem. Here we have Gemini Man. One of them is a fake and one of them is the real one. You'll know if it's a real one. So don't think you're not going to use Gemini laser on me. So out. Uh, Mega Man 4, that game was probably a hard game, but when I first played Mega Man 6, that game was hard for me. I had to use so many save states, it wasn't even you know, funny. Windman stage literally took me about 50 tries. And so did um, Centaur Man and all the other stuff. Now, when I played it a second time, I was able to beat it without save states, and I got to beat and all the levels. Okay, for me, then I have to play when I'm no constant, so he does get any better at Mega Man games. I have thought about it, and I am going to play through a Rock Man no constant on armor. And yes, it will be commentated, and yes, I will be screaming and dying, and you can stop the game. Anyone that's played Rock Man and Con is pissed off at the hard mode. Unless they're really good and unless they're really good at the game. And it literally looks like they take no hit. Like Blue Star 899 or don't remember the other one. But they're all Mr. Bean 1227. Those are the guys that are experts in hacks, and there's QC, I don't know his username, but 
He's really good at Mega Man hacks as well. These people can literally play him without save states. Because they're literally so good at it that they, they think they're beast. Which they are. Although most of us sad gamers aren't, aren't beast hacks. See, I, I made my own. And they were so hard, I, put, I couldn't even beat them myself. I never did a YouTube video of them because they sucked. And they were bad. And that was when my parents had to approve the video before it went on YouTube. Which was really annoying. And here we have flies. Flies are like third place in proving crushers in Mega Man 1. The big eyes in Mega Man 1, which the big eyes in Mega Man 1, yes, they were annoying enemies. Very annoying enemies. They take away like half, they took away like half, like half of your health. And in my Mega Man hack, say about making all the bosses Buster only. Bust only weak to the Buster. And I die. Yeah, I'm that evil. Make all the bosses Buster, only weak to the Buster, or only weak to one left. And we got him in three hits. Oh, look what we got. It's Earth Snake and Rush Jet. Oh, you can see the entire screen. And here we have the four Doc Robots, which are my least favorite enemies in the Mega Man series. In the Mega Man series, we're going to start with the hardest, which is Neo Man, just to give it, just to make it a little bit, a bit more interesting. And here we have Neo Man. Neo Man is a fairly. This stage is harder the second time around than it is the first time around. Shadow Man doesn't change much, and neither does Spartan. Except they add spikes and stuff. The slow changes big time. What used to be a. Only a few of them is now. Woo! Four! Really stepping up a notch, aren't they? Really, I don't care if I hit or not. Just to let just like an item. That's a one eye. Very, very high one. Looking at my live count, I should get it. But I'm tempted not to. Whatever. Rush jet time. As I tell you, you can control the rush jet where it goes in this game. If it was Mega Man 4, you would just go forward and attack to get a D4 you got up there. And a very easy E tank to get. One thing, they make the E tanks too easy to get in this game. And in Mega Man 9, however, there's only three E tanks you can get aside from the shop, which is what my friend told me. If that's true, uh, please tell me. That you only get three E tanks, that means you only get an E tank and. What else Pugman stages? You get Pugman stage. Now we're going to use our E tank. Apparently, I think I'm going to be fighting air mail without his weakness. We get something we couldn't do in the original game while we're fighting the same air man that gives us an advantage. Being able to slide.
therefore allowing you to dodge some of his lower ones. Therefore making Air Man a therefore allowing you to dodge some of his other ones, which makes him an easier boss to fight. And here we have the most annoying section in the Big Bang game. It is the Rush Jet section. Where you literally have to use Rush Jet to get across the endless pit of enemies. And then there's just a random platform. And then there's just a random platform there that has energy on it. A big tank of energy. Now, in Mega Man 9, the only difference between superhero mode was that in superhero mode they switched the big energy to small energy. There's something you get for beating the game without picking up more than 8 energy pellets. Which, how do you beat the game without picking up 8 energy pellets? That basically means the only energy pellets you can get in are Wily. Apparently they beat the first part. And there we go. We beat the first part with the longest pit in any Mega Man game. And now we're going to do some Shadow Blade. Here we have one of my favorite bosses, the giant Met Tool. I'm gonna use our E-Tank here so I don't lose help. It's a very easy boss. It's, um, any boss, its patterns are very easy to dodge. Very predictable of what it's going to do. Because all the main man bosses, if they have a pattern, they always do a 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3, or 3, 2, 1, 3, 2, 1. I sure going to tell you about the patterns of the main boss, bosses, anything in the games. Here we have our annoying little friends called the flying men. Flying men. Or the flying men, which is what I would call them. It says, what did Capcom think was fine in the name of uh, an enemy in the name of a New York sports team? I don't know. I have to ask Capcom about that. Don't know. I have to ask Capcom about that. Ask them, Capcom, why did you decide to make it to where? Why did you decide to name them Met? Mets. I keep forgetting that I have one life left. I will die if I when I I'll have an extra continue when I fight Crash Man. And yeah, in case you're wondering, Crash Man is the is the is the boss on a boss of this this stock robot. They seem to take less damage in this. For some, re for some weird reason, they seem to take less damage than they did in the first game with him. In the first game, they take insane damage, and you literally have to defeat him before he, before he starts fighting. And it takes a massive amount of damage. It just kills him in one more hit than it does with the original weapon that he, he used to defeat him. Which it was like Mega Man 2 DB, where you get their weapon after defeating them. But apparently with Mega Man 3, they decided not to do that. And there we go. We finished off one dock rope. And next, I'm going to take out Gemini Man Dock Robot. As you can see, I'm dealing with the harder ones first. And apparently these ones now shoot blue fire. Because they shoot blue fire, I don't know if it takes more damage or less damage. Or just that they special effect that they can shoot blue fire now. Probably that's just their special effect that they can shoot blue fire now. It really isn't that impressive if I can just change the palette to where they can shoot blue fire in the first level. 
I could also change the music to why we want if I wanted to. <laughs> but I decided not to because I like the Gemini Man skin. Yeah, that's what I call the theme the main Yeah, I'll Series except for Mega Man 7, Dr. Lotto Stage 3. Man, because Jacks. Whichever theme is jazz, I hate that theme. Here we go, we have the flying guys. And there, it's right, is this right? Some close to the hard or Minor uh, rats, this part's supposed to be difficult. I don't think they meant that when they made it. They thought this game was just a game that was challenging, probably. And instead, it ends up being a game that's very easy. You know, because of what happens in it. Now, because of what happens in it. The enemies do not do that much damage in this game. And number two. Bosses for Mega Man 2 come back. Which I the, the boss at this stage is Flash Man. And he's literally impossible to dodge in this game. He's literally impossible to dodge. Apparently he's got a big muscle that can fire up. Takes insane contact damage. And he's impossible to dodge, literally. And I beat him just before I was about to die. We have zero lives. Jeez, better not die here. Better get an e tank or something before we get there. Or health, or whatever. Health, e tank, um, I was gonna say in tank, but no, in tank is in this game. Uh, he's rush check. Apparently there's no health and we die. I'm going to keep playing until this game is over, probably. I'm going to play until an hour and a half. I should be playing until an hour and a half today since I can't we'll be on a board video tomorrow. Or I might, but probably not. Those of you who know what's going on, yeah, I said about an hour ago I was going on vacation. Uh, 
No, I want to get the item. Apparently I have to get up there somehow. I was actually looking for was the health. I have full health now. That's all I was looking for. And look, we're actually going to be at the boss in full health. Oh, look, there's a one-up making up and the one one-up that I lost. Gemini Man's Talk Robot stage is very, is a very, not a it's kind of tedious, but mostly it's easy. I don't know why I'm dying on Gemini Man stage, and therefore I'm running out of stuff to say. When I start talking about uh, Mario Kart, Mario Kart, there's three versions. There's 50 cc, there's 100 cc, and then there's 150 cc. Really, 150 cc is not really expert. It's only considered expert because it has all the uh, things in it. And we're going to find Needle Man. And we're going to find Sparkman. And it's my game, but I know this up. And I'm gonna try and I'm gonna try to get and Flashman was easy. That's Flashman in Mega Man 3. Just the same old Flashman was in Mega Man 2. Now in Mega Man 2 I can beat Flashman with Buster. He's that easy like that I can literally beat him with the Buster and like and kill him in like less than 30 seconds. Now, an accomplishment I got in Eggman 9 that I didn't even know how I got it was beating Magma Man in like 10 seconds or less. I must have used a tornado blow and I thought I'd beat him in like 30 seconds. So, in Eggman, yeah, in Eggman 9 there's an achievement that can be awesome. 10 seconds or less. But that's only with the Robot Masters. If you hate bosses without your helmet. Do you remember how many years ago? I have watched playthroughs on it and stuff. Oh, I must have watched Mega Man 9. Uh, Mega Man 9. Uh -uh, helmet was run a long time ago. By uh, the Huey Freeman. And I died. Recording for an hour and three minutes. How many trucks should I get? Man, I don't want to waste my rush for Because I could be for something important. So it's that Shadowman stage, which I forgot that in every single stage you get. That in every single stage, except for the later Wily stages, you get your energy automatically gets refilled. Yeah, I'm really smart. Yeah, I'm really smart. Now with our Mega Man, now with our um, Super Mario, new Super Mario Bros. Wii co-op playthrough, we are doing the game 100%, just in case you're wondering. We're doing it for you perfectionists and for you people who haven't seen all the star points yet. There are some star points you will have to look up because we got them off of uh, we looked them up on uh, IGN IGN.com and got the coins. Even though my friend says he uses game backs, I don't. 
I use uh, whichever one I want to use. And here we go, I'm going to fight a very easy robot master. And who knows who it is, because it's, it's completely underwater. Who do you think it is? It's Bubble Man! I was doing the same old crazy attack you did in the first and second game. And we keep. Is my phone ringing? Right? And the first thing he did in the first and the same thing he did in the second game. Except I think he takes more damage now. And there we go. Going to start with Sparkman. Because he's gotten harder than two bosses. The one that houses Metal Man and Quick Man. Metal Man and Quick Man are probably the most annoying, especially. Metal Man's not annoying, it's just Quick Man makes this probably the most annoying. It's not the most annoying stage, it's probably the most annoying boss stage. Probably that has the most annoying boss in Mega Man 2 in it. The only boss that, that used to keep the boss that used to keep me from being Mega Man 2. Quick man. Now I'm not an ex now I'm an expert game, but I'm not good at starting the quick man first. I don't know his laser pattern very well. And number two, his lasers are practically impossible to dodge. There we go. These guys again. The guys that shoot the missile at you that you can't blow up till you until you either exit screen or whoever else. And here we go. The first. This is the first Doc Dock Robot by this stage. Now why do we pick um Needle Man and all these other voices to play Doc Robot series? Apparently Dr. Wiley thought it was a good idea to put in Ford and them in the, in the, in the stages on the top left. Top. If you notice, there are ones on the top left, ones on the top right, the other ones on the bottom right, and the other ones on the bottom left. Therefore making it very, very bland. They're making it very, very bland and kind of boring. Here's what I was talking about. I'm about to see what I was talking about when I got to this. No, I'm going to do Sword Alpha, of course. And this is how you dodge spark traps. For those of you who don't know, spark traps, they shoot in a field of electricity. What they do is they hurt you. This is what I was talking about. What I do is I wait until it's a better strategy to wait until the top one comes and then do it. Or you can do it your own way. And here we go. Quick man. Still, still a bastard like he was in the first game and the second game. Still a dick. You still gotta be invisible. He's everyone's favorite quick. He's everyone's favorite quick bastard. He's everyone's favorite boss. Everyone's least favorite boss in the entire game of the series. Okay, don't you ever realize nobody likes him? The man doesn't realize he's very disliked by Mega Man fans. He's one of the least favorite bosses of all of, of, among Mega Man players. Not only because of his massive damage. And I refuse to have to, re have to uh, restart the stage again. And 
never mind. I forgot we still have another life. John, what time was stupid? I forgot we still I forgot we still have another life.